Hey, beautiful people. Welcome or welcome back. I'm Josie with Awakened Soul, in case you're new and this is the first time you're joining us over here on the channel. We are here for a pop-up reading. Today's pop-up is going to be all about the last 24 hours with your specific person. More specifically, I'm going to be chatting about their most dominant thoughts and feelings about you and your connection over the last 24 hours or so. My goal behind this reading is to get you the most current information possible. So if you've recently had a date with them or an important encounter, this reading likely found you when it did for a reason. It is a timeless reading. So whenever you found it, we are talking about their most current thoughts and feelings about you the last 24 hours. So it doesn't matter if you found this the day it was released, a year from now, a month from now. Um, my goal behind this is to get you relevant information and current thoughts, feelings, and energies, essentially. Same goes for down here. This short spread that we have is all about their intentions and similarly to up here within the last 24 hours. So any plans that have changed within them, um, any new plans they have formed or new intentions, how things have shifted the last 24 hours or so, or I guess solidified and been locked in, if that makes sense. So this is all about the last 24 hours. I'm going to stop saying that. I don't know why I keep repeating myself. Um, sorry if that bugs you guys. I don't know. It's probably just your person's energy needing to be a little bit repetitive and overwhelmed at this time or something like that. Anyway, let me introduce the cards to you. This top spread up here with the pink tarot is focused on thoughts and feelings. We have the Page of Cups, the Emperor, Temperance, the Empress, and the Ten of Cups. Down here for their intentions, we have the Three of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, the Two of Cups, and the Wheel. Okay, so let's hop right into it. Um, if you are familiar with my channel at all, and I suppose I'll just give this little introduction to you in case this is the first time you're joining us, and welcome again, by the way. Um, I pay attention to patterns and codes as well when I'm reading, not just to my intuitive downloads and information I receive, but I also um, am a very visual person and I have a tendency to pick up on patterns and like mathematical codes and things like that. So sometimes I notice mirroring or weird patterns occurring in the cards and I'm seeing a pattern and a synchronicity here up here on the top spread because we have the emperor and the empress, which are counterparts. The very center is temperance, which I do also on occasion read as a counterpart type of energy, depending on the context. And then we have two cups cards coming here. So it's almost like um, it's mirroring outwards, the same message going forward and backward. I don't know, you guys, I have a difficult time explaining what I'm seeing, but I, I'm hoping that you're just picking this up and I'm just over intellectualizing it right now. But anyway, um, Dominant message coming through is that your person has been thinking the last 24 hours that you are some type of counterpart to them. Now, I don't use this label, you know, lightly. This could be a soulmate or a twin flame type of connection just based on the center card paired with these two cards that I'm seeing here. Of course, it, at the end of the day, it's just a label. Don't force it to fit if it doesn't fit, especially if you know for a fact that your person doesn't believe in such concepts. Um, getting that out of the way, regardless of their background knowledge or belief system or what's going on here, it seems to me that the last 24 hours or so, some big and very significant change has happened within your person or something very deep has just been solidified within them to make them think that you are their person or you are their counterpart, that you are the one they're meant to be with long term. Um, and that's really, really, really been heavy on their mind the last 24 hours. The Emperor and Empress, of course, are counterparts in tarot. Um, temperance to me indicates like a proper balance, right? Yin, yang, dark, light, good, bad, so on and so forth. Um, it can indicate like balance and duality, um, this cosmic connection. So another thing here indicating this person thinking about you as a counterpart of them is just the fact that the two of you are a 
essentially perfect for one another. You balance each other out really nicely. The classic example I give is introvert, extrovert. Yes, they're very opposite from one another, but sometimes in those types of dynamics and relationships where one person is heavily introverted and the other one is heavily extroverted, you can actually help balance each other out a little bit. You know, the extrovert can pull the introvert out of their shell and the introvert can kind of encourage the extrovert to spend a little bit more time relaxing and going inward instead of always being out there socializing and um, you know expending their energy essentially so there's something about your person thinking about you being a perfect counterbalance to them a good complement um, and just the person that they're meant to be with long term you know when it comes to counterparts in tarot the emperor and the empress are kind of like on a whole nother level it's not necessarily the same as like the king and queen of cups or the king and queen of swords and so on and so forth these are the major arcana cards so that energy is extra amplified i hope you guys are making sense of this i'm probably going all over the place and being a little bit crazy but you know i don't know what else to say this person is very serious about you that is what i'm trying to get at right now they see you as somebody they could be with long term and they've been thinking about that heavily the last 24 hours or so we have the Page of Cups and the Ten of Cups coming out here. So what this is telling me is that maybe this is a new and blossoming romance um, or something that is kind of still in the baby stages, right? So maybe you just started seeing this person or you've only been dating them for a few months or even just a couple of years and you guys have not you know, breached certain barriers of commitment with each other yet. That is one potential. Or this person is essentially thinking about escalating things from the state that they're at right now into something that is far more serious with you in the future. Because the Page of Cups can kind of indicate like a first date or a subtle romantic offer. Um, something very, I don't really want to use the word juvenile because that's not necessarily accurate. Um, to me, it's talking about like the beginnings of a potential new romance, okay? Or like the early stages of one. Whereas the Ten of Cups is like a full-blown marriage and relationship, right? Um, it talks about like the happily ever after. In traditional tarot, which this is what this is, we have like a family being depicted here with a house in the background. We have a happy couple and two children frolicking in a field together. There's happiness, love, and joy a plenty in that image, right? So it's telling me that something in the last 24 hours or so has convinced your person that this relationship, regardless of the stage that it's at right now, is escalating into something very serious and that you could be their life partner. You could be their potential spouse in the future. Um, you know, essentially they're seeing this as their end goal they're happily ever after and they're thinking about that pretty heavily at this point in time that this is something that they would be in for the long run that this isn't just a casual dating situation this is something they see as having great potential in the future now when it comes to their intentions and plans that they've been forming the last 24 hours or so we have the three of pentacles the queen of wands the two of cups and the wheel so there's something about your person feeling like the two of you are going to get really lucky with one another I know that's a weird message. I don't mean that this isn't like an in innuendo, even though, I mean, it could be. You can take it at that if you want it to. Um, but they feel like there's something about this connection itself that is meant to be prosperous, and they're kind of planning on that happening. So maybe... Um, they're thinking about the potential of actually being in a marriage or a formal long-term relationship with you and how that would benefit both of you financially and just with your material world stuff, you know, going in on buying a house together or, you know, solidifying a life with one another would bring both of you a lot of fortune, both financially and emotionally. They are planning on being with you long term in a partnership. So even if you just started dating or, you know, you aren't at that stage yet, they're planning on that happening. And it's just confirming that they're on par with their thoughts and feelings when it comes to the actions they're planning on taking in the 3D. They're not just in a fantasy about this. This person is serious about seeing a future with you. And they're planning on that happening if you guys aren't 
already aren't there yet. They view you as their person and they're planning on locking that down, okay? Um, they're excited and they're planning on coming forward with a very bold approach towards you in the future, whatever that means and um, you know, for your situation. If you just started dating, their plans could involve maybe asking you to go steady with them. If you've been dating for a little while, they want to take that next step. It's going to be based on whatever the current situation is for you and your person. They are planning on leveling it up one step in the near future, okay? That's what I'm getting here. Now, keep in mind, this is a general reading, so I can't get into like deep, deep specifics. Everybody's background is so different. That's why I'm giving you potentials. Like I said, if you just started dating this person, they want to ask you out formally to be their partner. If you've been dating for a while, they might want to take whatever the next step is in your relationship, you know, exclusively dating or moving in together or meeting each other's families or it could even be as big as a proposal or, you know, something like that. Depends on what this stage is for you right now, but they know that they want to be with you. They only want to be with you. They're planning on taking a bold move to make that happen and to kind of like lock things down with you in the 3D. They see you as a counterpart for sure because the Three of Pentacles talks about teamwork, right? So this is, again, just kind of confirming with me up here that they view you as an equal counterpart to them. Um, what, regardless of whether or not you resonate as this person being your soulmate or something like that, that's how they view you. They view you as their person, their partner, somebody they're going to build with and work with as a team. This isn't going to be a one-sided relationship and they're fully, they're fully planning on both of you working together towards a mutual goal of things working out long term. So that's what I'm getting here from the cards. What we're going to do next is get out some future outcome predictions, actually. That's what I'm going to do. So hold on a second, you guys. I got to flip my cards around. I'm going to see what the next phase of this connection looks like. So not necessarily long-term, long-term future, but like what's coming next between you and your person. Let's get that out. What is coming next between them and their person okay i'll read those in a second i'm gonna get one or two more out <gasps> oh my gosh you guys like i <laughs> i swear on everything that that just came out on its own like i'm not bsing you that card literally just came out on its own it's not gonna be for everybody okay um i'll get to it in a second i don't know if you can read that or not i'll hold it up once i get the third card out here Okay, let's get out one more card, please. What is coming during the next phase of this connection? Okay. So, card number one, we have the star. Your hope and optimism are a powerful love magnet for you right now, okay? And of course, that's giving me the energy of like wishing upon a star. There's some kind of wish fulfillment coming in for both you and your person during the next phase of your connection. So what's coming next between the two of you seems to be something that both of you are hoping for and praying for. It's not just one-sided. This isn't just something you want or your person wants. Both of you have mutually wished for the same thing, and that manifestation is coming into fruition. Like, both of you are literally working as a magnet right here is basically what this is telling me. Your positive outlook, your positive thoughts... Um, you setting intentions and having a hopeful and optimistic outlook on this relationship right now is literally working like a magnet to manifest something big into the reality for both of you. So I'm going to get to this one next. Um, and this isn't going to be for everybody. So keep that in mind. Okay. Take it how it fits for your situation. Like I said in the initial portion, if you just started dating this person, um, it could be a little bit lighter than this. Okay. Um, not trying to give any false hope out there. However, this did come out. So this is for someone. We have proposal. 
an offer or proposal in the near future that comes as a surprise. So for some of you, it literally could be a proposal for marriage. This person may propose to you. Um, you know, it also mentions an offer. So like I said, it could be a lighter version. Again, if you just started dating this person, for example, um, it could be some type of other offer, like them offering to go steady or be monogamous with you and, you know, only see each other exclusively. Um, you know, listen to your intuition. Everybody is at a different stage of their relationship. Some people are at the phase where this wouldn't come as a surprise. Others of you, it might take a little bit more time. But regardless of the stage you're at with this person, they're serious about you. And it wouldn't shock me if this was coming in the future for the two of you, just based on all the other energies I'm picking up on here. But that's extra confirmation for some of you out there who know that this would be the next big step between the two of you. Um, and we're talking about the next phase. So there's definitely a big offer coming in from this person in the near future. It literally says in the near future. So this next phase, so to speak, of this connection um, is also coming into motion sooner rather than later. Okay, so we might not be talking about you know, two years from now, I would say if I had to guess just based on like what I'm intuitively picking up on, I would say that this next phase is going to begin between the two of you. Um, I keep seeing the number two, okay? I keep seeing the number two. So two, two weeks, two months, somewhere within that time frame. Um, so maybe like 14 to 60 days, two weeks, two months, somewhere in that time frame, the next phase of this connection is going to begin between, between the two of you. And it is going to take both of you by surprise a little bit, but the irony of this is that it's something that both of you are manifesting right now. So it's literally that both of you are having your manifestations come into fruition, and that's what this is. So we also have sparks. Let me hold that up for you. Keep the sparks flying. Surprise each other with gestures of love. Yeah, there's two notes of a surprise coming in. So it's like even though the two of you are manifesting this right now, it's somehow still going to take both of you by surprise. Um, maybe because things are escalating between you rather quickly for others of you. Um, it's just going to be shocking. It's going to be a big change. Reminiscent of what I call a happy tower, okay? Um, because like we all know, tower moments in tarot, they can sometimes be chaotic, you know, divorces, loss of a loved one, loss of a job, or having to make a big move or something like that. Those can be towers, but proposals and meeting the love of your life, those can also be towers, okay? Those can also be tower moments because all a tower is, is like a huge... Um, I just heard gravitational shift, basically just a huge shift in your life that takes you by surprise and changes the trajectory forever. You know what I mean? Um, so this could be a happy tower for you. It's going to take you by surprise, but it's going to be exciting. It's going to feel like a happy shift, even if it's surprising and shocking. Okay. So, um, and there might be like literal surprise gifts on the horizon as well. It seems like if this is the person that's going to be giving the offer to you, it's going to take you by surprise. You don't expect it, but it's something you've been wishing for. Essentially, what I'm seeing here is that the next phase of this connection is going to be a very, very impactful one. There's going to be a huge offer coming in for you from this person, um, and it's an exciting one. So awesome. I'm super excited for you guys. Let me get out some channeled messages from this person to you. I might not get a whole bunch because I feel like overall what I'm picking up on in this reading is that the two of you are on pretty good terms with each other. So I don't feel like this person is holding back a whole lot from you right now. But, you know, I suppose I shouldn't jump to, jump to conclusions. Let's get out a few messages to see what they would say to you if they weren't holding anything back at all. What would this person say if they weren't holding back anything at all? Please talk to me, spiritual team. And if you are enjoying this reading so far, I would love it if you would like and subscribe. It helps me out. We'd love to have you join the Awakened Soul family. Everybody is so kind and supportive to one another over here. And we'd love to have you join us. So check it out. We will be together again. 
So if this is like an ex of yours returning, that's confirmation for you. Okay, another takeaway from this message is that maybe this person does believe in soul connections. Maybe they do have that belief system and that's something they've looked into. Um, and maybe they believe that the two of you are meeting again after a past life or something like that. And they have this soul type of recognition with you. That's one potential. Let's get out a couple more messages from this person to you right now. I hid who I really am from you. That could also be them keeping secrets, keeping a surprise. Maybe they're also a little bit afraid to show you their true colors because they think so highly of you. They don't want to lose you. This person could have some insecurities that they're working through right now. Um, maybe they have a complex where they believe they have to be perfect in order to be deserving of love, especially love of this magnitude. So they could be like masking things a little bit, maybe potentially with material possessions, like they're trying to show off with their money or their material goods to impress you and make you think that they're a little bit more well off than they are. They love you. That's no surprise. Clearly this person loves you. Um, saw that coming because <laughs> uh, it seems like, yes, of course they love you. They see you as their person, their counterpart, and they see a long-term future with you. Okay. You are the best thing in my life. Um, you can also flip the word were to are, you know, depending on how long you've known this person and what your history is with them. Okay, you're the best thing in my life. I hide behind material things. They love you, basically. I'm also seeing the mirroring here a little bit too, actually, as I was talking about before, which is interesting, because at the very center we have I love you, and then we have two similar cards on the outskirts of that, and then on the outskirts we do have two things indicating um, or confirming for you that yes, this could be a past person returning as well, if you know that that resonates with your situation, okay? Let's get out a couple more messages from them to you though. I don't think they want me to use this deck. Actually, I'm feeling called to hop straight into my deck. So that's interesting. What does this person have to say right now, please? Past life. Wow. Yep. So, I mean, we can take that literally. We can take that metaphorically. Take it how it fits for your situation. Maybe this person does believe in soul connections and they recognize you. It's like they feel like they have known you for a series of lifetimes and you were bound to meet each other again in this one. Could also be that, yes, if this is a person from your past, this is acknowledging that. It's kind of like confirming that for you again. You are so magnificent. Yeah, this person thinks highly of you. I don't know what else to say. They view you as a counterpart. Let's get out one or two more cards, please. What else would this person have to say right now if they felt like they could say anything? Let's take a trip together. This person, maybe, maybe the offer for you is to take a vacation together. Something of that nature could involve like stargazing or something like that. You're my sun, moon, and stars. Either that or this person, again, is really believing that the two of you met each other for a very significant reason in this lifetime. I, You know, the more I am reading this energy, I'm picking up on this person might be highly spiritual, okay? They may actually have some pretty intense spiritual beliefs. Not for everybody, but for some of you out there, that's confirmation that, yes, this person is spiritual, trying to figure out what to say to you. Yeah, they're coming up with some kind of a plan. They do want to deepen this connection. We've already chatted about that, and um, maybe they're planning on what to say or how to propose this to you or how to literally propose to you. I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's get out one more. I just have to make it an even six. I'm going to text you soon. And I do feel like for most of you out there, you probably are in contact with your person. So I don't think that's going to take you by surprise. But uh, maybe to give you extra, extra confirmation that this is your reading, just pay attention to your phone in the next couple hours here. And if you get a text from this person, that could be acting as confirmation for you that, yes, this is your reading if they reach out and text you. Anyway, that was a weird message. Let's get out tiles. These could be their initials, your initials important words, names, you name it. And if you don't see anything here, but the rest of the reading resonates, remember this is just icing on the cake. 
You don't have to force anything to fit and it's still your reading if the rest is resonating. If you guys see anything that I missed, you're welcome to comment down below for the collective. I am seeing the word wed come out here. Okay, so maybe Wednesday. Um, you know what, that's kind of crazy because we can almost spell wedding. We do have a blank right here as well, but wed, Wednesday could be important. Okay, I'm also seeing the word wise coming out here. So this person could really value your intelligence your intellect. Um, I am seeing the word lie as well. Okay, so there could be some secrets. Lie, lied. Take what's resonating, leave what does not, as always. Um, I'm not seeing any names coming out so far. I'm going to leave this here, as always. Um, take your time, pause the video if you need more time. We might also get some more letters out here in the charms. Sometimes we do. I think that was a G. Hold on a second, you guys. Yeah, we can literally, if you use this blank, we can literally spell out the word wedding now. That's crazy. This person might really like the way that you smell. We have the little perfume bottle coming out here, or maybe you really like how they smell. That could be an indicator. Maybe somebody in this connection has a, a strong Claire Alliance sense. I feel like that is an often misunderstood or mislooked um, psychic gift is clear alliance, but that is psychic smell. So maybe somebody also has psychic smell um, or there's just something about scent that's really important in this connection. And then we have two cats. So I don't know what's up with that. Maybe you and your person both have cats or cats are important in this connection in one way, shape or form. One of them is a blue cat. And so that's talking to me about intuitive communication. So it could also be that you and your person have strong intuitive communication with one another. And maybe that's part of why this person feels this counterpart energy with you because they feel like both of you can really just read each other and pick up on each other intuitively. Um, you know, you just walk in the room and you kind of know how the other person is feeling. You don't have to necessarily ask them all the time. You just are intuitively picking up on the energy. And your person really appreciates that about this connection, that the two of you just seem to have a mutual understanding with one another without having to force anything. It's just very natural. It's just the flow of it, it goes beyond words. You know what I'm saying? Now, hold on a second, because this card got sandwiched in a different deck. I wasn't planning on using that deck. However, um, it came out, so I'm not gonna ignore that. And then this as well flew to the floor. We just had a big mess over here that you guys couldn't see, but I know they came out for a reason for you. I was actually working on using this deck, so I'm gonna get one more card out. This is the portion of the reading that is meant to be just for you. It could relate to this connection or not. I leave it open-ended for the viewer. These are meant to be just like little treats for you, my dear. So take them how they resonate. And as always, leave what doesn't. You got the scorpion with new beginnings. You are invited to instigate change, but you are also being warned that this transformation may be radical. Get rid of everything in your current life that can prevent you from improving. Based on this principle, destroy before rebuilding, you are promised a beneficial rebirth. Beautiful. Maybe Scorpio energy is also really important or Scorpio season, eighth house placements. You also got peace. Calm your thoughts and move your awareness to a peaceful space inside your heart. Feel the ebb and flow of love, the eternal movement of the stars. Your life is forever unfolding to greater spheres of love. Relax and do not worry about anything, for all is well. You will soon enter a time of well-earned peace and tranquility. That's a beautiful message. And then lastly, no act of kindness is ever wasted. Some of the kindest people you will ever meet have been through hell and back themselves. That strengthens their compassion and empathy. If this is describing you, keep being the beautiful soul that you are. Beautiful. I'm going to get you one affirmation real quick, just because I always do before we close out the reading. As always, if you'd like to claim this energy, I invite you to read it out loud with me. You can also write it down or type it out in the comments. Today, I am curious. Today, I will open my mind and explore new possibilities and opportunities. Beautiful messages. 
I am going to go ahead and leave this reading here. If you've been watching my channel for a while and you are interested in exclusive readings, I have a YouTube membership and a Patreon membership. Both of those have different exclusive readings that I add to on a regular basis. If you'd like to check that out and give it a try, that info is going to be down below in the description box. I hope you have yourself a blessed day if I didn't say that already. You are a shining star. I hope you know it and I hope to see you around the channel again in the future. Bye for now.